Hey, Smash. I talked to Dell recently and saw that he's been taking notes on your portals. Is that a problem, though? No, but I'm just saying you really don't want that to turn into an investigation. Why not, though? Could be fun. Because you could be tested on for the rest of your life? I don't know. And I could get out. I'm very aware of that, but not only would you have to live your life on the run, but that would be a PR nightmare for me. I guess I see what you're getting at. Yeah, so maybe just tone down the very obvious displays of some sort of supernatural voodoo magic abilities, eh? Bobby, you're you're literally a skeleton. Okay, but I'm a public figure. Dell is literally a skeleton dog thing. Skull dog thing. Well, that's different. We know Dell. And Basil's a plant thing. Not to mention Synth. And Basil... Actually, I wanted to talk to you about that. The plant thing that Basil has is not normal. Normal. Bobby Bone Man <sighs> saying something's not normal. Smash, very funny. Just, there's no documentation around Basil, so I'm starting to think that something's up. What does that mean? It means I have no idea where Basil came from. You need to know where everyone came from? No, not everyone, but Basil is a special case. So I'm just going to cut to the chase. Smash, do you know anything about them that I don't? Not that I can recall. Why would I? Because you spend more time with them than I do. I figured you'd talk about something, anything, you know? Look, Bobby, I know about as much as Basil's origin as... Basil, where did you come from? Why do people keep asking me that? Ugh. Anyway, all right, let's talk about Mocha. Where does he? What even is he? Who is he? Why is he? We still don't know the answer to any of these questions. Smash, where are you going with this? Isn't it such a weird coincidence that both him and Josh mysteriously went missing? <clears throat> That's why I think we settled this once and for all. We're going to the graveyard. What? Wait, mysteriously? I thought Mocha went missing because the rent was too much for Mocha to pay, and now the rent is too much for me to pay. I forgot Mocha paid the rent. Good point, Basil. The Emerald Torrent went missing too. You know where it could have gone? Maybe a graveyard, or who knows? If they're not the graveyard, then we could find a substitute for them, maybe. A good replacement for those emeralds, eh? All at uh, the graveyard, baby. Smash. No, Smash, you're not taking Basil grave robbing! And why not? What are you gonna do to stop me, silly? Of course I'm gonna try to stop you. That's a temporary solution to a permanent problem, and also illegal! You could just harden this though, right? I could, but I'm not going to. Look, why don't we just get Basil a job? Bobby, child labor is bad. Child labor? Smash, that's not what I'm talking about! Don't start defending child labor, Bobby. <sighs> Basil? Yes, Bobby? Are you a child? I don't know. Oh, goodness. What do you mean you don't know? How old are you? I haven't been counting. When were you born? What year? How long ago? Uh, uh, uh those are good questions. Good luck finding the answer. Sounds like a child to me. In fact, I can't even count. That's too Look, I... Smash, if Basil can own a house, I think they're old enough to get a job. You know, Basil, come on. I'm going to show you the wonderful world of employment. Okay, I am thoroughly confused, but I will go along with this anyway. Good. Wait. What? Wait. What's up, Basil? Oh, the hat! The hat! That's what was different. You done noticed. What? You you wouldn't get it, Bobby. Okay, then let's just get back to that job hunting thing. Come on. Alright, what should you do for a job, eh? Something that makes money? I need money. Something that makes money. Maybe you could be a pilot. 
pilots make a lot of money. Or you could be a chef. No. Um, how about an architect? But if you want something easier than that, you could be an emissions manager. It's a morally sound career and, you know, government work. It's a lot easier when the prime minister is already your roommate, eh? Um, hmm. Maybe you could be, and I know it sounds a little bit scummy, a uh, simulation developer. Single-player simulations make a lot more money than you think. Enough to pay rent? Uh, yeah, definitely enough to pay rent. Just now I think we should probably look for a job more suited toward you. <sighs> right. A, not a job like a physiologist or a, a microbiologist, right? What? No, how do you know about those but not high school? Why wouldn't I? What about making meth? Oh, no. Ooh, making meth. Smash, no, get out. What? I'd help him get started, of course. Smash. Okay, okay, I get it. My ideas aren't wanted here. Suit yourselves. <sighs> okay, well, I'm just going to help you write a resume, and then we can think about other things. Like... But I'm just saying, Basil, if you want to make meth. Smash, get. Anyway, I'll help you come up with something, all right? Come here. <sighs> all right, Basil. All you need to do is walk in there and ask the employee if you can apply for a job. This place looks pretty worn down, so they might still use paper applications, all right? Okay. I'll be right behind you. Got it. Um, one job, please. <sighs> Go back to your pot, kid. What? Uh, I don't do... What? You're thinking of Smash, probably. Can we have an application? You can apply online. Can they apply in person with a piece of paper? Well, you know what, kid? It's your lucky day. Because I'm forced to be the hiring manager today, and the security guy, and just about everything else in this store. That's how bad this economy is now. So you know what? We go straight to the interview part, just for you. Oh, wow. You're going to interview them already? No need to see your resume or anything? Well, I think that this person is going to be a special case. Why do I have to sit and you don't? Because that's what it's like in the real world, kid. Oh. So, let's start. You. What's your name? Basil, with a Z. Okay, Basil with a Z. You didn't get the job. Oh, but you don't even know me. Why didn't I get the job? Because I don't want you here. Now, shoot. No, no, no. Maybe I can fix that. <sighs> I think. Get out. Oh, okay. Get out. Okay. All right, Basil, attempt number two. Is it too late to ask what frozen yogurt is? You don't know what frozen yogurt is? No. Try it. Can't believe you've never had frozen yogurt before. Is it anything like unfrozen yogurt? You'll find out. Anyway, Basil, I'm thinking we could get you a job here. Would you like that? Bobby, this food is cold. Yeah. It's frozen yogurt. Yeah? Well, if food isn't cooked, it gets echoly. It what? Echoly. It gets in the food. And this is food, right? Yes, Basil. Do you do you mean E. coli? Yes. Oh my goodness, Basil. You're not gonna get food poisoning from frozen food. Have you ever had ice cream before? Or like a room temperature apple? I think that's different. Look, I'm going to help you apply for a job here. And don't worry, the food is safe. So just give me your phone. I don't have a phone. How do you not have a phone? Because I have a computer. What if someone needs to call you? Computer. What if someone needs to call you while you're out of the house? Then wait. Okay, whatever. We'll just fill the form out on my phone. I'll be right back. Okay.
All right, got it. Okay. These questions here are obvious, but just in case, I'm gonna ask them. What is your first name? It's Basil. Mm-hmm. Middle name? Um. Gotcha. Last name? Botanic. Makes sense. You know, isn't it a bit ironic that your last name is Botanic? You have that little plant thing on your head. Is it running the family or something? That is a good question, Bobby. Yeah. You want to answer it? How about we continue the job getting thingy? Sure. It asks for date of birth. Okay. So what's your date of birth, Basil? I'm not entirely sure. Basil, were you being serious earlier about not knowing your age? Maybe a teeny bit serious? Okay. Well, lying on an application is bad, but I'm sure an educated guess wouldn't hurt. Basil, when do you think you were born? At least three years ago. Seriously, three? That's your best guess. Can't you go any higher than three? Four? Oh my god, these people. Basil? Hmm? I'm just gonna assume you're at least 16 just to make things easier, so if anyone asks, you're 16. Now back to getting you a job. Our next question here is, what is your greatest achievement in life? My greatest achievement hmm? in life would be when I trick someone into <sighs> drinking tranquilizer. This question is dumb. What? Is tranquilizer not the right word? Why did you trick someone into drinking tranquilizer? Well, I didn't want to drink it. Basil, this gives me more questions than answers. Why were you given tranquilizer? Bobby, I don't think we should be putting this on the form. I'm not putting it on the form, Basil. I'm not typing. Uh, I just want to know more about this tranquilizer fiasco. Okay, well, I want to get back to writing on the form. Fine, but I'm bringing this up again later. And I'm writing down that your greatest achievement is saving up for a mansion. Okay, what's the next question? Your education level. My what? You haven't been to school before. How did you learn to read? Through trial and error. Right. So next question? Yep, working on it. Uh, button's being a little bit silly, though. Oh, you wanna take a look I mean, at this? Yeah. Uh, I think you put the wrong answer, Bobby. Oh. One or more of a following degrees is required for this job. Bobby, is now a bad time to ask what a degree is? It's, uh, it's what you get after going to college. Uh, why a college degree is required for a simple cashiering job is beyond me, but I guess we'll have to look elsewhere. Maybe I could just go to college. That costs money, Basil. Oh, then I could get a job to get money. Say that again, but slower. Maybe I could just go to college. Then I could get a job to get money. Maybe I could just go to college. Then I could get a job to make. I get it now! Uh-huh. Jobs and degrees sound like one big circle that I'm not allowed to be in. And do we have to be outside the whole time for this? What do you mean? To find me a job. Can't we do this from the mansion? I mean, we can, but why wouldn't you want to be outside? It's so nice out, finally. You're literally a plant. I... But what does being outside have to do with getting me a job? Well, once you have a job, you're going to be outside a lot more. So you just might as well get used to it, right? R right. Yeah. Speaking of, I just had an idea for what you can do. Just making sure. You're good at gardening, yeah? I don't know. Well, I think you'd be a natural at it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Anyway, gardening is easy. Just give these plants a little water and bam, you get paid. Since the country's environmental policies are extensive, being a city gardener pays really well, too. Being a city gardener? Yeah. You get paid to take care of plants that are owned by the government. You own plants? No. Well, yeah, I guess. It's the local government, so I guess I would technically have some ownership over the plants. Okay, but 
Bobby, this all sounds a lot more complex than just giving plants water. Well, you do other things too. You get to trim some leaves, so there's no overgrowth. Trim leaves? Yeah, it's like you get a little pair of shears to them. Just like a little snip, 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 like a haircut. Oh. I, I don't like this anymore, um, Bobby. No, 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 it's okay. I, it's not like that. It's not going to hurt you. You're just trimming plants, not your I, own. It's, I don't... It's not no, even going to be I, that often. Uh, you, they can't I, feel pain, Basil. They're plants. It's okay. No, I am going home. I've decided. You <sighs> can come if you want. Okay, okay. careful. Okay. You need some alone time. You could have just said something. <sighs> I guess we can do the job thing another time. Okay, so I need to focus on my speech. I need to make hey, how'd the job thing go? <laughs> hi, hi, Smash. Hi. I didn't get one. Oh. Uh, well, have you ever heard of this cool thing called uh, cocaine? Uh, a bit? Isn't cocaine like a snack of some sort? Uh, not, not exactly. I thought you were just going to say no, honestly, but, you know. Was I close? Give or take. So it's like a really expensive snack. Mm-hmm. And I still have to know how to make some. You have my attention? Where are you going with this? I just need a little help, right? Mm-hmm. And I was thinking you could be the one to do it. For a price. A price as in I get paid? Erect a mondo. Just one condition. Mm -hmm. You can't tell anyone. I I have a feeling I should ask why I can't tell anyone. Well, Bobby already said no to you making meth with me. But between you and me, we can totally do this for some side cash. But I don't think he'd be happy hearing I got you to join me in a little cocaine adventure. Oh, why not? Uh, too easy. Work's too easy. Yep. Huh. Against easy work. So, does Bobby just want to restrict the lives of the working population and create unnecessary difficulty for those below Bobby, thus ensuring that those people cannot find the time or resources to challenge Bobby's rule, therefore creating an unfair political balance of Bobby's favor? Uh, what? <laughs> does it matter? Count me in! Oh, uh, alright, good enough for me. Alright! Come on, we have things to do! Money to make! Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs>